Today, I'd like to read to you from the book of Isaiah and talk to you about when kings die. You'll see what I mean. Isaiah chapter 6, verse 1, that says this. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lifted up, and the train of his robe filled the temple. The prophets of ancient Israel rarely gave time and place regarding their prophecies. So when they do this, we take notice. Isaiah's marker for this prophecy is significant. He said that it happened in the year that King Uzziah died. King Uzziah of Judah had a long and distinguished reign. It's described in 2 Chronicles chapter 26 and in 2 Kings chapter 15. Uzziah is called Azariah in 2 Kings chapter 15. Uzziah began his reign when he was only 16 years old, and he reigned for 52 years. And overall, he was a good king. 2 Kings chapter 15, verse 3 says that he did what was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his father Amaziah had done. 2 Chronicles chapter 28, verse 5 says that he sought God in the days of Zechariah, who had understanding in the visions of God, and as long as he sought the Lord, God made him prosper. But Uzziah was more than a godly man. He was also a strong national leader. He led Israel in military victories over the Philistines and over other neighboring nations. He was a strong king. Uzziah was an energetic builder, planner, and general. 2 Chronicles chapter 26, verse 8 says that his fame spread as far as the entrance of Egypt, for he strengthened himself exceedingly. Nevertheless, Uzziah's life ended tragically. 2 Chronicles 26, verse 16 says, But when he was strong, his heart was lifted up, to his destruction, for he transgressed against the Lord his God by entering the temple of the Lord to burn incense on the altar of incense. Now, in response to that, God struck Uzziah with leprosy, and he was an isolated leper until his death. So, that one little phrase, in the year King Uzziah died, actually says a lot. It says, in the year that a great and wise king died. But it also says this, in the year that a great and wise king who had a tragic end died. Isaiah had great reason to be discouraged, maybe even disillusioned at the death of King Uzziah because a great king had passed away and because his life ended tragically. Where was the Lord in all of this? Well, the answer is plain. According to Isaiah chapter 6, verse 1, Isaiah says, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne. Where was the Lord in all this? The Lord was sitting on a throne. God was still enthroned in heaven and was still in charge of all creation. Friends, there is a throne in heaven and the Lord God sits upon it as the sovereign ruler of the universe. This is the central fact of heaven, that there's an occupied throne in heaven. God doesn't sit on a chair in heaven. Anyone might sit on a chair. But sovereign kings sit on thrones. Judges sit on thrones. Those with proper authority and sovereignty sit on thrones. You could say that the bottom line of atheism or materialism is that they believe that there is no throne, that there is no seat of authority or power over all the universe. The bottom line of humanism is that there is a throne, but man sits upon it. But the Bible makes it clear that there is a throne in heaven, and no fallen man sits on that throne, but the Lord God is enthroned in heaven. Isaiah may have been depressed or discouraged because a great leader of Judah was no longer on the throne, but God in heaven here showed Isaiah, don't worry about it, Isaiah. Uzziah may not be on his throne, but I am on my throne. Now, with what you're going through now, today, good or bad, can you see that God is enthroned in heaven over it all? That's my prayer for you today.